it's Heavy Dobby here. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Um, it, I'm reporting on VLCD number 16 today, and surprise, I'm not in my car. That's another story. My car is sitting out in the front yard with, uh, in the driveway, with um, the hood up, and I have a dead battery. We have a we have a bad battery in that car, and it if it's cold, if it doesn't start right away, then I'm shot. But unfortunately for me, or fortunately for us, my husband does have has found a job and is working three days a week, and today is one of them, and he's already left for work. So he's the one that usually comes and saves me. But um, I'm on my own this morning, and so my best resolution was to, um, after trying a jump box that we have, which wasn't fully charged, um, you know, calling, calling the insurance company and tow company, and they're sending somebody out, but it'll be an hour to an hour and a half, so I don't even know if it's worth going into work today, to tell you the truth. Anyway, so I'm waiting for a telephone call from the tow company saying that they are approaching my home, so I thought I'd go ahead and vlog. So anyway, uh, back to my report, um, VLCD 16, and I had a gain of 0.8 today, and I think it's because of two reasons. Um, the first one is not enough water. I probably had two 24-ounce cups of water yesterday, and I had a tea, and a hot tea, but um, sometimes I don't count that that much. Um, normally, I have five to six to seven 24 ounce cups of water. So, um, cups meaning like this. These are 24 ounces. So, um, right now, this is what I'm drinking uh, out of. I like variety, even in my water. So, um, the other reason I think it, there might be a possibility is that I've tried tuna. Uh, in water, albacore white tuna in water, and I had it for lunch yesterday and dinner the night before. So um, that was my first time ever on um, P2 of ever trying tuna fish. So it, there may be some bearing there, but I think it's the water. Uh, last night I had John Soul's chicken that you can get at Walmart. God. That stuff saves my life. Thank you, Joni and Jana, for finding it. The fajita chicken and the fajita beef, it's it tastes amazing, and it's it really saves my hide on nights when I'm super hungry. I mean, I can take it out, weigh it, put it in the microwave for a minute, and it's ready to go. And when I'm trying to meet the goal of getting dinner at by 5 o'clock at night, that saves my rear end. Um, last night I had John Soul's chicken, fajita chicken, and then I had also purchased a bag of pre-cleaned um, radishes, and I divided that in half. I ate one while I was getting ready to make dinner, and they were really hot. The And my husband had one, and he said, boy, these are the spiciest radishes I've had in a long time. So I decided to cook them. So I took one radish, sliced it in thirds, so it was still pretty stout, and fried it up in a pan with um, coconut, a little bit of coconut oil and some diced onion, and they were like fried potatoes. I mean, the heat, the spiciness went away, and, um, you know, you could really trick your mind into thinking that you're eating fried potatoes. So last night I had fried potato radishes and um, John Soul's chicken, so that was delicious. Um, but anyway, speaking, going back to the water thing, I wanted to tell you a story. Um, well, first of all, I had done some research on one of my books saying that if your liver is toxic, you're not going to have a very good weight loss. So I was kind of looking into that and, um, searching on YouTube and looking for liver detoxification. What, what do you do? What, how do you detoxify your liver? And, what I discovered through that is a lot of your colon cleansing people, experts, say that your body goes into a cleansing mode from about 4.30 in the morning till noon. Why 4.30? I don't know. But um, maybe that's why we fluctuate in weight so much during those hours. Um, because our respiration is cleansing our body, our pores, 
you know, eliminating whatever. So anyway, with that in mind, uh, our program secretary at work, her brother is probably in his mid-60s to late 60s, and he's a diabetic, and he was told that he has to have a kidney transplant. So her children were, adult children were discussing, you know, who's going to be the lucky one to give Uncle Billy a kidney. Um, but in the meantime, what she was telling me is that her, his specialist told him to start drinking a gallon of water every morning before noon. And so he started doing that. And he has actually reversed his prognosis and doesn't have to have a kidney um, transplant now because of what he's doing. And it really made me think that we really do our uh, cleansing mode. And if our kidneys don't have enough fluids to get all that stuff out that they've been wor it's been working on, then um, our kidneys become toxic. So, I since then I have really tried, except for yesterday, I've really tried to drink at least the bulk of, half, at least half of my water before noon every day. And I think I want to bump it up, you know, hearing that story, that's pretty impressive. Anyway, so it's food for thought for the day. Um, thank you to all my new subscribers. Boy, you guys are just rolling in. And that's exciting because it just means that HCG is working. And let me tell you, it is. Oh, you know, on a positive thought on my weight gain, you know, the first thing you do is you start analyzing. And then, or I start analyzing. And then I looked at my charts and it's like, you know what? One week ago today, I was five pounds heavier. So with the, that really kind of changed my um, paradigm. And I thought, you know, I'm, I'm five pounds better off this week than I was last week. So even though I had a gain, um, there's a reason. And that's part of the game of P2 is figuring out your own body. And, um, you know, tomorrow, you know, who knows? But uh, HCG is a journey. It's not a race. And so if you're new to this, uh, you know, yes, you do lose weight fast. But that doesn't mean that you're in a competition. Um, to win, you know, against other people. It's your own personal journey that people walk alongside you and support you, but they can't experience your journey for you. You know, and today, my journey takes me up a hill a little bit. And maybe tomorrow, you know, I'll be going downhill um, on the scale. So, think about that as you join this, this, um, this journey. And, um, if there's anything any of us can do, you know, I really, truly hope that we're perceived as welcoming. I know that, you know, sometimes it feels it feels like you can't break into a, a group of people. But I think that group of people started, like Callie Southern and Diva and myself and Susie Hayes. One. I get them all confused because there's a Susie. Anyway. We started all at the same time, the same week, and so I feel a connection to them, of course, but it doesn't mean that we're a click. So, uh, you know, in this journey, you're going to find all different personalities, and I hope that for the most part, you find people who will embrace you and love you and encourage you and um, be straight with you, like Slim Steve, <laughs> who I love and adore. So, um, anyway, he's not really that tough, you guys. He's a big old teddy bear, and he's getting smaller, but he's just a teddy bear. Don't let him scare you. <laughs> Bye.